Come in, Zoe. What's going on, Chris? Would you like some of Steve's rather excellent coffee before we start? I've got calls to make. Oh, it's Bolivian. What's going on? I'd have guessed I'd say your brother's convened an alternative director's meeting. Won't take long. No. I'm not getting involved in your war of attrition with Kim. This isn't personal. <laughs> of course it isn't, Chris. I'm not listening to this. I'll see you later. So it's all right that Kim risks our money on Alex Oakwell's nags just to impress him? I'll listen to the arguments at the meeting, then I'll decide. That's what it's there for. For this business to survive, we have got to expand. The days of the country house offering a living to all sorts of retainers are long gone. Do you mean me? I didn't say that. You're the only parasite in this setup. Look, putting petty insults aside, if we can, what better way to grow? With one step, we move into the international arena. Seems too simple. Yeah, well, we're fortunate enough to be in the right place at the right time. Now, Alex Oakwell needs a cash injection. We have the wherewithal. So I think it would be foolish not to consider it. What do you think, Steve? What's the point in asking him? He'll go along with it because he's a chancer. His home and what his family's built up is not at stake. It means no more to him than a game of five-card brag with Seth Armstrong. He probably thinks you'll give thanks in your usual way. No doubt he'll be right. I'll take that as a vote against. I'm afraid mine is too. Zoe? No, not for me, thanks. It's a pity we haven't got any champagne. Don't you think Kim's proposal had some possibilities? Oh, no. Not now, it doesn't. We've done the most positive thing we could. Slap her down, not let her ride roughshod. Come on, we're back in the driving scene. I suppose so. What's up? Oh, I don't know. I don't know whether it's this or work. I can't get excited about either. You're missing Nanny's personal services, aren't you? Don't talk like that. Sorry. You're missing Sophie, though. I'll tell you what, why don't I take you for a meal at the wine bar tonight? Oh, I don't know. Apparently, Eric's floozies transform the place. OK. We'll have the champagne, then. Did someone mention champagne? Because yeah, if you rushed off your feet. It's not quite what I imagined when I let Eric in on the partnership. At least she's put a bit of life in the place. Thank goodness I'm only covering for Rachel. I thought you might have gone to the funeral with her, Chris. Why? Is she all right? Yeah, Jack's gone with her. That should cheer her up. Well, someone's in a good mood. 